I like to call these next selections the automated selections because they are going to take information that you input and say, I want certain features or certain qualities of a selection, and they are going to automate the selection process. And so the, the first two tools are the magic wand tool and the quick selection tool. The magic wand tool can be used to click or select a color in the image. Uh, depending on which tool settings are selected, additional pixels around that original click or that original selection um, within the image will also be selected. There are two key features of this that you should become familiarized with. The first is tolerance and it determines how many colors adjacent to the original color are selected. And so let's say that you select red. Um, if your tolerance is low, um, the selection will only be of red. But if your tolerance is high, it's, it's going to be more tolerant of the other colors around it. So it might start to select pinks or oranges or even yellows, depending on how wide your tolerance has been set. Contiguous selections are only pixels touching the original selection. And that's another key, fix, uh, key feature of the magic wand tool. You have the option to have a contiguous or a not contiguous selection. When it's contiguous, it's all touching. And so if you click blue on the the uniform of a policeman and there's eight policemen in the image. If your selection is contiguous, your selection will only be of the blue in the uniform of the first person. But if you have a not contiguous selection, it means that you can select any colors in the image that match the parameters that you clicked on. Um, you would click the blue in the image of the first police officer, but then it would select all the blue in the entire image that was the same color. And so you could quickly grab all of the uniforms and then maybe they weren't blue enough and you wanted to pop the blue in the image. You could change all of the uniforms all at once with one selection. The quick selection tool um, is kind of fun and to me it's kind of a little bit like the magnetic uh, lasso tool where you're going to click and you're going to say this is kind of the area that I want and then you're going to drag in the direction that you want the selection to keep moving and Photoshop will try to figure out what you're trying to select and so maybe you have a robot on a black background and if you click the black background as you kind of drag it around the back um, around the robot um, Photoshop will start to select the background or vice versa as you start to select the robot it will try to figure out what's part of the robot and what's not and you can quickly make selections now the quick selection tool is usually good for kind of broad sweeping uh, selections for just selecting an area to narrow down your editing or what I use it for a lot is if I'm going to refine a selection which we'll talk about later in this lecture I will make a quick selection or a rough selection of the area and then I'll use my refinement options to refine the selection. And so let's talk about those key features of these tools and then I'll jump on over in Photoshop and I'll show you how to use them. So first is the magic wand tool and when you use the magic wand tool you need to push and hold and find it on your toolbar. Uh, your tools panel and when you click all you have to do is click once Photoshop will decide what you're trying to select and so I clicked maybe right about here in the red area and in this particular selection Photoshop has selected all the red in the entire image that matches that color and what it's doing is it's it's looking at two particular features it's looking at tolerance and it's looking at whether it's a contiguous or a not contiguous selection and so right now I can see that I have lots of selections that are not touching. Red over here on the right hand side is selected, red on, on the middle part here is selected, red up top is selected, so they're not touching. And I know that because I made the selection, but also I'm looking at it. But also if you look at your options bar across the top of your screen, there is a contiguous checkbox and it's not selected. And so when you do not have it selected, you're making a not contiguous selection. And what you're saying is I want to select all the red in the image, not just the area I'm working in. Now if we compare that to a contiguous selection, so now I have selected the contiguous option on the options bar, and I made the same selection. I just clicked somewhere in the red. None of the red on the left hand side or by the right hand side or at the top is selected. Instead, I have one continuous selection where all the selection could be filled in all at once. It's all connected. And there are pros and cons to both. Um, I kind of find myself using the contiguous selection more often than not because I will click this area and if I wanted the other area I would hold shift and click because it will add to the selection. Something else to be concerned with or to prioritize when using the magic wand tool is a tolerance and that's on your control bar, not your control bar, your options bar as well. 
And so the tolerance is set to 32 in this image, and that's default. And so it's going to select 32 shades or 32 pixels of shades um, beyond the color that I chose. And that's default. If you only want a very specific shade of red, set the tolerance to 1 or to 5 or to 10 or anything below 32, and you'll have a more um, limited selection. But in the next example, I've changed the tolerance to 80. And so when I change the tolerance to 80, I make the same exact selection. I just clicked somewhere in the red area. My selection has expanded. It's now bigger, and it's encompassing more colors and more range or more um, area on my image. So what you, what you usually want to try to do is if you're trying to select all of like a shape, you'll figure out what tolerance gets you the selection that you want. Maybe you're selecting a background that has varying shades of blue, but you just want to select the whole background. You can increase the tolerance and keep making your selection until it gets all the background instead of having to do it over and over or repeating the process.